Hello, hello, YouTube people. I'm back again with another game haul. This time, I bought PS1 games from eBay. So, I decided to start collecting PS1 games because plan on buying a PS3 with a backward compatible for PS1 and PS2. So, I just went crazy and bought some PS1 game lot. And a couple that I bought here and there. Oh, super rare. I have this I have this Digimon on my cyber sleuth. But yeah, let's get to it. First up, Need for Speed. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. I've actually never owned a PS1, so I'm like excited for this. Now I just gotta find a PS3 that is backward compatible. So I can start playing them. <laughs> Another Need for Speed, high stake, risk it all to win, dun dun dun. Spongebob, Squarepants, Super Sponge. I'm like, is this the one where people do the, the speed runs on? I don't know, I gotta check it out. I've always wanted to see the speed run for Spongebob, so. Star Wars, Episode 1, Jedi Power Bottles. Bottles? Battles. Most of these titles I've never played before, so. These four are very new to me, so I've never played them. I mean, it doesn't help the fact that I've actually never owned a PS1, so. Rainbow Six. Tom Clancy. I played Rainbow Six before. I've never played this Rainbow Six before. Big fan of uh, Rainbow Six games, so I'm excited for that one. Ready to Rumble. Pretty sure I've played a game like this before. Celebrity Boxing Match. Never mind, I've never played this. I played the Celebrity Boxing one. XS Motto. Don't know, don't care, got in a lot. Gran Turismo. Now this, I'm excited for. I'm excited for this more than I am for the Need for Speed. Actually, let's see. So it comes with that. Is it missing two discs? Is it missing? Okay, it's got the arcade mode. And simulation mode. Is this missing? I don't really. Is it missing two discs? Did I? Oh. They screwed me over? Is that what's going on? Let's see. That's why you gotta be careful with eBay people. But, you know what? I could be. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Sorry about that. It says two discs. So. There was only supposed to be two discs in there. Next up, Final Fantasy VIII. I've never actually played Final Fantasy VIII before. Hey, true story. My first Final Fantasy game was for the DS, Final Fantasy III. That game was fun. Let's see if we can make this five minutes or less. I'm not sure why it has four discs though. Is this normal? Four discs. So which this is the game? I I don't know which this is the game, so I'm gonna have to look that up though. Let me put the papers back in there. That way I don't lose them. Last but not least. Well, it is the last one. Final Fantasy 9. 
I've only played Final Fantasy 3. All the Final Fantasy for the DS, I played that. I played the one for the 3DS also. I played 7. I have 7 on my Switch also. That one sucks. The one on the Switch sucks. And I got the new one actually for PS4. Still sealed. Still haven't played it. I don't know why. I have not played the newest version of it. And I got the game. So I don't know why I'm procrastinating by not playing it. Look, see, this one has four discs also. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, like, ignorant with this because I, I don't know about PS1. I've never owned a PS1. I own a PS2. So, but never a PS1. Final Fantasy 9. And it's got four discs also. Are all the Final Fantasy? Do they all have four discs? Well, that's the... That's it, boys. No, it's too short. No, I'm not opening another pack. Alright, boys and girls. Oh. Look out for next week. Either this week, should be next week. I made a terrible financial decision that I don't regret. <laughs> Watch out for that, guys. If I remember correctly, the both of them cost me like nine hundred dollars. Two two items, about two items, and it totaled at nine hundred dollars. Watch out for that. All right. Peace.